are here at Formation 2022. This venue is where Formation all started. It's a cool drop in. Go big or go home. <laughs> This is some of the fastest progression that I've seen in a sport. This is what they want to do. As a result, you've just seen the talent just skyrocket. Oh my gosh! These women are carving out space for everyone that comes behind them, and what they do really matters. Like, we're just getting started. So fresh. How are you today? Yeah, I'm good. A little sore. Long three days of digging. Three days to build all your features on your line and three days to test all your features, make some changes. Yeah, there's a few unknowns, but I'm actually really excited to ride it. It's looking really good. And the ladies are stepping it up once again. Casey and I are starting at the very top. It's definitely the gnarliest drop-in feature I will have ridden here. And a rolling. Being my first year here, I didn't want to build anything so big that I was just a passenger on the bike. I think it's still gnarly. and 19 we were pretty much on this lookers right side of the course and now you see the entire course being used Going into this year, I wanted to build something big, fast, and fun. <laughs> it's really fun. Watching this all go down, like it feels pretty emotional. They really broke the seal for this event. <laughs> My name is Katie Holden. I am one of the co-creators of Red Bull Formation. We built Formation first and foremost to progress to women's free ride. I dream that these women can make a living to ride their bike as a free rider. Yeah, we're here at Formation with Hannah Bergman, absolute unit, just get stuff done. We've got Vera Sandler, Steez Lord. Tammy Noguera? No, you say Noguera. Noguera. No Tammy no alligator. <laughs> Tammy has big kahunas. Has nation. <laughs> Two, one. Oh. She's pretty cool. <laughs> Casey Browntown, the godmother. We've got Sam Soriano, Georgia Rastel. Via has built something sick. Chelsea sends it. She sends it. Vinny's super sick, absolute steezer. Lou Breezy, super chill, and then just like absolutely throws down. That Robin girl, yeah. <laughs>
first day of formation is a scout day and we all show up here to our semi-blank canvas. It is an old rampage site from 2014. Then we have three days of digging. And this sport is super unique in that you're like building all the features that you're going to ride. You have to have the vision, put the work in to build the thing, and then you have to see it through and ride it. It will be possible if we don't work together. A lot of water, a lot of packing, a lot of blisters <laughs> is the name of the game today. So the vibe of formation is a bit of me really, it's non-competitive. You can kind of like work with other riders and collab on stuff. And because it's not competition, everyone helps each other out. For me personally, I think that's like the ultimate recipe for progression. I'd like to follow in for this one for speed. We have pretty similar rolling speed. And I trust her. Yeah, trust Robin with my life. You good? Yeah. Yeah, Brian. Get up. Yeah, girls, have fun. No! <laughs> no! I appreciate it. No. Jesus, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. So much is happening right now. Yeah. Holy mackerel. The level of riding is just, I can't even get over it. Oh, I love it. I knew the women were capable of this, but I really didn't know that we would achieve it in three short years. It's just incredible. Today's the final day of formation 2022. Super stoked, a bit nervous, but mostly stoked. We're all gonna do a top to bottom run of the line that we created over the past week. There's riders on every ridge and they're all hitting like massive stuff, like pretty much rampage lines. Formation yeah, it's gonna be insane to watch. Three, two, one. Has literally rode off a cliff. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. You have to learn to trust yourself in this sport. And so when things don't seem to be working as you're expecting, you have to take that doubt, adjust it, learn from it, and get it back to confidence. <laughs> that girl's tough as hell. I think she's a bit bummed on not finishing the run, but she'll come back hungry, I'm sure. <sighs> Be strong.
to do something that goes well with my style. Start with a really steep section. Feel more confidence with my decisions this year for sure. You were going so, so fast. fast. I know. <gasps> it's a huge progress for me. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> I've looked up to Casey Brown and Veronique Sandler for most of my riding career. I'm still learning from what they've done and I know that like younger girls than, than I am are learning and taking from me. All of my elements of progression will be somebody else's elements of progression in the future. Hannah and I chose to do Brett's old line from 2015. The top section was like keeping me up at night.
as a mentor or a mentee, you're gaining something from that partnership. We need that. I think that's like the ultimate way to level up in your sport. And I see that out here so often. I feel that I was pushing myself all this time, so I'm so proud to have this. But also I think that everybody here deserves this award too. Like, we are all so spicy today, and yeah, it was so fun to watch all the girls ripping. <laughs> Yeah, you should be proud. This is insane. Yeah. It was my dream for many years to be the first woman to compete in Rampage. I mean, honestly, I like didn't have what it takes. I, I had the heart in hindsight. I'm so grateful I didn't achieve my personal goal. I was just like, oh my god. I wouldn't have learned what I learned, and I don't feel like I would be in the space that I am now. It's not about me, it's about us, and this is a million times better.